been to Tighten Up Trivia. My name's Austin Huff. That's Jack Gentry. We are the hosts of the Tighten Up Podcast on the A to Z Sports Podcast Network. Y'all, you guys know this. This is the Titans trivia game by Titans fans for Titans fans. We want to see whether you're a Myron Roll or Ryan Fitzpatrick, maybe an Anthony Ferkser, a couple Harvard grads, <laughs> or you're a Vince Young or Travis Henry. Not very good on the Wonderlick. Yeah, you don't, you, you don't want to be the latter of those. Uh, before we get started, let's get to know uh, our players, which we already know, probably recognize them from the first round. But um, Riley, uh, Riley, why don't you tell us, hit us with your favorite Titans memory and uh, where people can find you on social media. I'm going to have to go with the blocked field goal against Kansas City just because it's still so fresh. It, yes. I, there, it was hot. Probably my favorite moment of, that I can think of off the top of my head. And Riley JGRB97 on Twitter. Awesome. Cool. So, that was a Josh Kalu game. Um, Mike, let's hear your favorite Titans memory and also where people can find you. So it's obviously got to be Music City Merit. I was, must have been four or five years old. It's probably, it's the oldest memory I have. Going back way into the annals of the recesses of my mind that's the only thing I can pull up from when I was a little kid watching by far my favorite memory awesome. and uh can't go wrong. Solo, just Mike Kamsey Mike Kamsey awesome. okay. all right well uh, let's get a uh, refresher on our rules Here's how the game will break down. Each player will be given their own four questions worth one point each. You will have 16 seconds to answer these questions. Those 16 seconds, of course, are reminiscent of how much time was left on the clock for the Music City Miracle. If a player doesn't know the answer and they think it's hard enough to where their opponent won't know the answer, they can kern them and punt the question to their opponent. If the opponent doesn't know the answer, the player who kerned he or she will get the point. If he or she does know the answer, they will be awarded the point. Each contestant is limited to just one kern per game. After the four questions, Questions, players will be given a fifth question, which will serve as a final jeopardy, where players can wager however many points they have. In the event of a tie, we will have a tiebreaker question that will determine the winner. You play uh, uh, any Beatles record backwards, you'll hear them say, tighten up. <laughs> uh, so we'll start with Riley. Riley, Ad your first question. Adam Humphreys, it's a numbers game. Adam Humphreys plus Dennis Kelly equals this current Titan. Again, Adam Humphreys plus Dennis Kelly equals this current Titan. John U. Smith. John U. Smith is the guess. And John U. Smith is correct. Good start, so, Riley. Riley has one point in the first quarter. All right, Mike, let's tie it up. What do you say? Let's go. Same thing. We're going to play a little numbers game. Kendall Wright plus Marcus Mariota equals this Titan safety that played with the team from 98 to 2004. Kendall Wright plus Marcus Mariota equals this Blaine former Bishop. Titan safety. Blaine Bishop. Well, Kendall Wright was 13. You add Mariota, who's eight. You come out to 21. From 98 to 04, Samari roll. You Sorry, messed me up with the safety. You got me with the safety. <laughs> I thought he played corner. Oh, he was a corner. I messed that up. Oh, man. Damn it. <laughs> All right. Cornerback. Edit that in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, after one quarter, it is Riley one, Mike nothing. Going to the second quarter question. Riley, this former Titan was drafted 16th overall in the 2010 NFL draft and wreaked havoc on quarterbacks in the league for nine seasons. Again, this former Titan was drafted 16th overall in the 2010 NFL draft and wreaked havoc on quarterbacks in the league for nine seasons. I'm going to kern it. I feel he's so gonna, bad kerning it, but... He's going to oh. kern it to Mike. So, Mike... The question again, one more time. This former Titan was drafted 16th overall in the 2010 NFL Draft and wreaked havoc on quarterbacks in the league for nine seasons. Um, I'm going to guess Derek Morgan. Derek Morgan is the guess. Derek Morgan is correct. So Good Mike job. has <laughs> stolen back. 
stolen that point. So it is one to one heading into Mike's second quarter question. I the wanted to say of- Derek Morgan too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought he was in the thirties. I the sixteenth over will mess me up. I couldn't remember what pick he was. Yeah, the Titans were pretty mediocre back then. So yeah, they drafted right around the middle of the pack. Good Might job. as well just pencil nine seven every year. Okay, Mike, here's your second question. Where did former tight end or, or Titan tight end Bo Scaife attend college? One more time. Former Titan tight end Bo Scaife attend college. Ooh. I think he's from Atlanta. I'm going to guess Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech is up. And no good. It's Texas. He was a Longhorn. Yeah. Former teammates with Vince Young. All right, boys. Now it is halftime. Halftime. Let's get to know our halftime rules. Now we have reached halftime. We will enter a 53-second halftime in honor of Keith Bullock, of course, for each player to physically prove their Titans fandom for an extra point in the game. Each player will be required to find the best piece of Titans memorabilia in their house and bring it back to the screen before time runs out. Could be a piece of clothing, a framed picture, or even Vic Chung's shoulder pads. Whatever you think is best, bring it back within the 53 seconds. If a player does not make it back in time, they will not be eligible for the point. This is the only part of the game which is left up to judges' discretion. The best piece of memorabilia will get an extra point added to their score. A point that could be crucial for determining today's winner. Go. And then you're with me again. All right. Riley's taking us with him. Here we go. A little journey. Yeah. We're at my mom's house this time, so. L- little ghost hunters action. <laughs> <laughs> you did the meter where, where the lights pop up. Just yeah. see if you have paranormal activity. <laughs> I don't know about you, Jack, but I'm terrified right now. Mike seems to be reaching inside of a drawer or a cabinet. Of some sort. <laughs> oh, I, uh, I kind of see it. I already, I'm already wearing it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Uh, all right. So both you guys are uh, good to go. Riley, look out behind you. No, I'm just that's, kidding. No, that's not it. No, oh, oh, wait. Two things. Sorry. Got a mark just shows there, too. I was like, oh, oh that's, that is nice. That is nice. I, I like how, yeah. Can't wait to see what Riley's got this week. Okay, so uh, Mike, we will go ahead and start with you. Mike, what is it? What is your piece of Titans memorabilia? So there's a little bit of a story behind it. So the kid I went to that Green Bay game with and got that signed Delaney Walker hat, we have a yearly bet every year based on the record of normally the Titans and the Packers, huge Packers fan. We always do a dinner bet. So one year I'm just like, I might as well do a jersey bet. At the end of the year, it was uh, Titans were 9-7, and seven, and I think it was the year Rodgers blew out his collarbone. So Davis was a rookie. I was like, mm. oh, absolutely. I'm a wide receiver, play wide receiver. I'm like, absolutely. Rookie wide receiver stud? Absolutely give me Corey Davis. I beat him this year. I got an A.J. Brown jersey coming. A.J. Brown jersey coming. Up. <laughs> yes, right. I love it. Pretty soon, yeah. Just give it, uh, you know, uh, 52 more years, and then you'll have every player on the team. <laughs> well, All right, Riley. You're up. Let's see what you have. Y'all see that? Okay, there's a glare. Oh, wow. Ooh, okay. Good. City Miracle. Then Titans take it to the Indianapolis game from this past season just to top it off. Oh, where the nice. field caught on fire. How could you not have that ticket? <laughs> well, that's actually from the Indianapolis game. But Oh, uh, okay, okay. Oh, it, which was an even better game because the uh, Titans Locked won that for game. A touchdown. Yeah, they finally won at Lucas league. Oil for the first time in 10 years. Uh, all right. Who was, it, so, who's it, who was that signed by? Who were those signatures, Riley? Let me get in here. It's just one signature. It just says Music City Miracle on it, 1999, AFC champion. I really, not even going to lie, can't read it anymore. I think it's it looks like Kevin Dyson. Dyson. Yeah. Yeah. Like Kevin Dyson. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so we have a Mike and a one jersey. So he, there's some risk added into his acquisition of his memorabilia piece. Yeah. It's, Riley that, has that, good memories. Mike's got a jersey to commemorate Aaron Rodgers' broken collarbone. And Riley's got a uh, <laughs> Riley's got a ticket stub for uh, when we finally got over the hump, and uh, <laughs> they autographed Music City Miracle. Jack, what do you got? Man, this is a tough one. Uh, I think the Music City Miracle element just is a tough one to beat in general. While I hate the Packers and <laughs> and Aaron Rodgers and mostly Matt Lafleur, I would love to give yes. Mike the point. But I, I do, I do like the Music City Miracle. There's something about it. I, I, I'm leaning Riley. What do you think? Uh, I, you know what? I, I, 
I think I'm going to agree with you. And I think Mike would agree with you too, just considering the Music City Miracle oh, was, the, was the greatest, his greatest memory. And it was my greatest memory. I uh, actually was there, um, not to brag, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so I'm going to go, I'm going to go Riley. So uh, Thank you. <laughs> Riley gets the extra point. So after halftime, Riley leads two to one. And since it is halftime, we will flip the field. So Mike, you'll be receiving the first question each quarter in the second half. All right, Mike, you're, we're in the third quarter. It's good. We're cranking it up a little bit. This Our former, time. this former Titans wide receiver spent his last three years in Nashville after spending six years with the Atlanta Falcons. Who is this player? Former Titans wide receiver spent his last three years in Nashville after spending six years with the Atlanta Falcons. Who is Harry this Douglas? wide receiver? Harry Douglas? Harry Douglas. Harry Douglas. That is correct. <laughs> two to two. <laughs> We're going to the third quarter for Riley. All right. Two to two. Your third quarter question, Riley, is this Titans pass catcher was drafted in the second round of 2004 but never reached the 600-yard mark in his four seasons with the team. Again, this Titans pass catcher was drafted in the second round of 2004, but never reached the 600-yard mark in his four seasons with the team. I could tell that Riley did not watch our last episode or listen to our last episode of – The most recent the one. <laughs> yeah. That's I watched him catch him myself. It's a good, good <laughs> plug for the podcast right there. You learn a lot. You learn a lot. Yeah, You're out of turns. I, you got I, three seconds? I don't know. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. The answer we were looking for, Ben Troop. Troop Skadoop. Troop Skadoop, baby. Troop Skadoop. <laughs> ben Troop was the answer. So, after three quarters of play, Riley and Mike are tied at two apiece. Headed into the fourth, this player played just one season in 2010 with the Titans, but finished sixth in the NFL with 12 and a half sacks and a Pro Bowl appearance that season. Can you name this former Titans pass rusher? Mike, I'll read it one more time. This player played just one season in 2010 with the Titans, but in that year he finished sixth in the NFL with 12 and a half sacks and a Pro Bowl appearance that year. Can you name this former Titans pass rusher? Your time starts now. I think I'm going to kern that one. Kerning it? You're using your kern. We're out of kerns. <laughs> All right, Riley. I'll read you the question one time, and your, your time will start immediately after. Okay. This player played just one season in 2010 with the Titans, but finished sixth in the NFL with 12 and a half sacks and a Pro Bowl appearance that year. Can you name this former Titans pass rusher? I'm so wrong. I'm just going to – Albert Hainsworth, why not? Let's get random. My memory before like 2013 is. It's, right. it's better than no answer. Better than no answer. So you stepped yeah. up. Um, the, the correct answer is not Albert Hainsworth. It is actually Jason Babin. You got to go deep into the Titans' uh -huh. random Eagle. name bucket. And then, he, yeah, and then he went to the Eagles, paid him a ton of money, and he went up there. Yeah, so Jason Babin, it was correct. So good, Kern. Kern the Kern <laughs> works for Mike. All right, so Mike leads three to two going into Riley's fourth quarter question. Riley, your question is, this former Titans return man played in just 23 games for the team and famously took a safety on the opening kickoff in week one of the 2013 season against the Steelers. Darius Raynod. Darius Raynod is the guess. It's got to be tough being known for one thing, but Darius <laughs> Raynod is. <laughs> and he, so the correct answer for Riley. So the score is tied three to three, heading in to overtime. Our that is Jeopardy portion of the game. Etched it was into my brain. <laughs> it was an emotionally scarring <laughs> memory. Yes. All right, All right guys. guys, on your sheets of paper, please write write down write down however many points you want to wager. Uh, you eat. You both each have three points, so you can wager as many as three points. Zero to three points. Write it down and circle it. This is going to be good. This is this might be the first time we've ever been tied going into mm -hmm. overtime. A lot of pressure. A lot of strategy in here coming into overtime. Yeah. All right, you guys ready for the question? Mm -hmm. All right, Jack, what we got? All right, your overtime question is, how many Titans pass catchers have reached the 1,000-yard mark in a single season? 
how many Titans pass catchers have reached the 1,000 yard mark in a single season? 27 seconds. Oh, man. What if they had multiple? Are we Doesn't matter. That? Just one name. One name for. Yeah. Per, like persons. We're, we're just asking names, not seasons. Okay. Even if it. Uh, even if the player changed names, we're, we're keeping it. Have there been any NFL guys that have changed names? Like, uh, like, like oh, Puff Daddy? Single. Oh, Joe Cinco. That's a good one. That's a good really? point. I remember, I think Kevin Dyson used to, his name used to be James McGregory. I'm pretty sure. I'll have to look that up. But um, who was the safety for San Fran? Dante Whitner, and he changed it to Hitner. That's right. That's, <laughs> that's right. right. That's Hitner. right. That man gave out so many concussions. It was, oh, it was, it was sinful. Okay, uh, guys, you got, you both right. had your answers. If he didn't leave the field on the stretcher with somebody else with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do, you, do you guys both have your answers yeah. down? We're good to go? Okay. All well, right. We're both tied. Yeah, we're both tied. So, Riley, let's go ahead and see how many points you wagered first. Three points. All oh, he's in. going all, all in. in. Why not? All in. <laughs> all right. And let's see your answer. Five. Five, yeah. Five is the all right. answer. All right, Mike. How many points did you wager? I went with two. <laughs> oh, okay. So we're not going to have any any double OT here. Nope. What's Nope. Your, what answer you got for us? I also went with five. Okay. All right. Jack, what we, got, what we got for the answer? The answer is six. So, yeah. Mike, congratulations. Yeah. yeah. You, Mike so you, walks away with one point. Riley. One to zero. Great. The Good the job. answer the answer was six. It was Nate Washington, AJ Brown, Derek Mason, Drew Bennett, Kendall Wright, Delaney Walker. Walker. That's Wycheck what got me was Delaney. Talking. No, Wycheck never got there. That poor man. Mm-hmm. No, they that was that, those were the Jeff Fisher running the ball days. Uh, <laughs> back He's still then. He's been the every year. It's crazy. <laughs> right. All right, guys. Well. Thank you. Thank you so much for playing. Uh, man, that might have been one of our tightest games ever with a final score of one to nothing. Mike comes out victorious. Riley, uh, thank you so much for playing. Uh, I, 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 I have no idea if we'll ever see each other again. Uh, I, I'll write in my diary about you every single night. I hope you cracked the diary, we, Riley. We, we cross I'll, paths. I'll take that. Good uh, consolation. We're going to keep spending in the games. Is good luck. Yeah. What'd you say? We got to keep sending you to games. Good luck. Yeah, I, right. I think so. That's I know, right. right? Yeah, we need more, uh, especially games against the Chiefs, just for uh, the block field goals to win it. No, uh, I should okay. have been there. <laughs> Riley, the AFC Championship. Riley and Mike, before we let you guys go, um, can we, I get one last tighten up? Oh, absolutely. Tighten the F up. <laughs> <laughs> tighten up. There we go.